So let's talk about macro first. Uh, I think Europe needed maybe one stimulus in 2015, but instead we got three. The first was weaker energy prices. You can see that in, in oil. Oil is $50 today. That translates into lower electricity costs, lower gas costs, and therefore reduces the cost of operations in Europe. The second thing is the weak euro. The euro is about 30% lower compared to the dollar at this point of time than it was last year. That allows the European industry to be more competitive vis-a-vis -vis exports. If you look at the industrial sector in Europe, it has a tremendous amount of export-led industries and that helps underlying demand. The third is quantitative easing. People were hoping or expecting half a trillion euros of quantitative easing, but instead we got a trillion euros. So Europe has received three stimuli in 2015 when one would have been enough. If you look at our business, uh, our business is performing well. Our key markets, automotive, construction, uh, demand is up compared to 2014, trending higher than the GDP rates of 2%. Uh, if you look at the underlying performance of our business, that has improved considerably post the restructuring efforts we put in place about two years ago. So to put into perspective, in 2014, EBITDA was at 40% year on year. So the restructuring efforts, the strong demand environment, as well as a positive macro picture should allow us to have a good year in Europe in 2015.